What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and you know what day it is today. Today is Monday so that means we are here on the channel previewing a new position for the Jacksonville Jaguars heading in to 2000. In 19. But before we get into that, ladies and gentlemen, a big thank you to everybody who is subscribed. Your boy over the weekend hit 1,000 subscribers, and it was insane. It was crazy because I took a little hiatus off of YouTube. I don't know if you guys noticed or cared, really. I took like four days off from making YouTube videos because I just needed to mentally kind of get back into the swing of things, you know, just with work and everything, you know, my brain's rattled and I knew I needed to take just a little bit of a break. So I took that break and I was just sitting around yesterday and just got done watching Big Brother and my boy, Jamin, sent me a screenshot and says, congrats. And it says I have 1,002 subscribers. So the fact that you guys are hitting that subscribe button, even when your boy is on a leave of absence, that means the whole entire world to me and the fact that we hit that 1K is awesome and now we are going to be getting monetized so that means better content on the channel more content than ever before on the channel the whole end goal with this whole tree talks thing is that i really want to brand it i want this tree talks thing to be a brand i want you guys on this youtube channel to say your name from tree talks like that is my personal business my first name isn't tree and last name talks tree talks is my business and my name is Treeb. So I'm hoping to kind of get that going and trying to hire a couple of people so we can get multiple videos on this channel a day. Uh, not necessarily just about the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'd like it to be all about sports, everything else. Maybe branch out, make some new uh, channels as well. You know, everything like that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to build a platform, give you guys that platform, and hopefully we can build something great together. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough of that sappy stuff. I just want to say that on Friday I will be doing a live question and answers video, and you guys can ask me any question you want by leaving it in the comment sections down below of this video or you can come into the live stream and ask me a question on there. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hit that intro so we can kind of space out the uh, 1,000 subscriber talk from the Jags talk. So without further ado, we're talking Jags, so hit that intro. One to go up top, drops it off across the middle, for that. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, today's positional outlook, we are talking cornerbacks. I decided to space the defensive backs um, between the corners and the safeties as opposed to doing all the corners and all the safeties because I think those are two completely different stories. Um, because, you know, talking about the Jaguars secondary as a whole, you know that it's great from the corners that we have, but obviously the biggest question mark for the Jags this year is the safeties. And I think those safeties deserve their own little video so we can kind of discuss, you know, what's going on there. Is there really a position battle to watch and all those things? So today we're going to be discussing the cornerbacks. And we already know we got two of the best in the league at the number one and the number two corner. But what about the nickel corner, you know, DJ Hayden? What about the depth underneath those three? You guys as well that is what we're going to be talking about ladies and gentlemen so without further ado this is the Jaguars positional outlook for the cornerbacks so let us first start off by discussing the two guys that we know on lock are both fantastic players and are going to show up in a big way for the Jaguars in 2019 and that of course is in my opinion the best corner duo of Jalen Ramsey and AJ Boye Jalen Ramsey there's no doubt about it is a top five corner in the NFL his stats speak for himself he speaks for himself there's nothing in this entire universe that has me worried about Jalen Ramsey Jalen Ramsey pound for pound is probably the best player on our team and is definitely the face of our franchise and to have that be a cornerback is huge because the two worst positions you can ever play in the NFL is a quarterback and a cornerback quarterback because you're the leader of the offense and clearly all eyes are on you you know if you mess up everybody's going to be talking about how you messed up that's the same thing with the cornerbacks. You know, a number one corner in a game where everything is tight and they allow the receiver to burn them for a touchdown to give that other team a four-point lead with only like 
seven seconds left on the clock. Like, that is some stressful business. But if there's anybody in the NFL that can handle that stress and play at a high level, it is Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey, in my opinion, is the league's best cornerback, and he will be for a long time. The Jags picked up his fifth-year option. I'm praying to God, praying to God that they they freaking re-sign him and sign him and ask him, how many zeros you want on this check? Because we need you on this team. You are the face of the franchise. You are what we need. And, you know, people online are always talking about how Jalen Ramsey doesn't want to be there. And some things that Jalen Ramsey says, you know, kind of makes you think that sometimes. But you got to believe deep inside you that this is where he wants to be. And he's going to dominate for a long, long time, you know, because this guy is going to be an elite corner for a long time. He's going to be like the new Darrell Revis, you know. He's going to be around. He's always going to be like that top corner in the league, you know. The old waves of cornerbacks are kind of fading out now. I mean, you got you guys like Darrell Revis are leaving the league. Antonio Cromarty, you know, he might still be playing, but, you know, he's not as relevant as he used to be. Josh Norman, Richard Sherman, like all the, those old generations of corners are now kind of leaving the building. And now you got a lot of young, exciting guys like Xavier Howard, Jalen Ramsey, AJ Boye, Chris Harris Jr., you know, like all these guys now, this new wave of cornerbacks. It's insane. Like, to be a corner in the NFL now, you have to be really good. And if you're a wide receiver going up against one of these cornerbacks, you have to like make sure your game is on point every single week. And Jalen Ramsey is one of those guys. And he also talks that shit, so he will get in your head. But like I said, nothing to worry about with Jalen Ramsey this year. I expect him to have another fantastic year uh, with this great defense. And I'm really excited to be talking about this defense because there's a lot of players on here that are fun to talk about. It was kind of the opposite on the offense. It wasn't as more opposite as it was maybe in like 2017. Uh, I mean, in 2018, I should say. You know, doing those position outlooks because, you know, there was really, like, you're talking about, like, Blake Bortles. But this year, you know, we're talking about Nick Foles. These wide receivers could be interesting. You know, there's there's a bit of interest on the offense. But there's definitely a lot more exciting players and, you know, opportunities to be great on the defensive side of the ball. Now we're going to be naming, talking about the other cornerback that is part of that elite tandem with Jalen Ramsey. That, of course, is A.J. Boye. You know, people say last year was a step back. He wasn't as dominant as he was in 2017 and to your point you were right but it's not like he had a complete and utter disaster of a season last year you know he wasn't making the same amount of plays he was making in 2017 but he was still out there doing his thing making sure that you know these receivers were locked down and he didn't do anything you know to make us lose games so for example here he played three less games in 2019 and he only had one interception this year and he had six in 2017 and that is the obvious obvious better statistic for AJ Boye from last year this year that year in 2017 he allowed 52 receptions for 700 no okay 2017 my stats are all wrong and bad in 2017 he had four he allowed 45 receptions for 628 yards and three touchdowns which is great elite corner numbers in 2018 he allowed 59 receptions so that's more receptions but only 723 yards and three touchdowns again so it's like he did take a step back a little bit but he's still an elite corner in the NFL and again nothing to worry about with him he should shine he should be a bright spot in this Jaguar defense again this year and a great leader too because you know Telvin Smith ain't gonna be playing this year so they're gonna need like another captain and I'm assuming they're gonna be giving it to AJ Boye if I had to guess right now so, you know, he's going to have to play like a captain. He's going to have to go out there, ball out, and show why he himself is an elite corner. And why in 2017 he was better than Jalen Ramsey, you know what I'm saying? But 2018 Ramsey definitely had Boye's number uh, as far as being better than him that year. So in 2019, hopefully they both have another competitive year with each other to see who can be the better cornerback. But, you know, as of right now, A.J. Boye is slack and he kind of needs to build up. But he should be, again, a great factor and a great piece to this Jaguar defense heading in to 2019. Now let us talk about the depth underneath Jalen Ramsey and A.J. Boye. Now one person we did not talk about in that take with Boye and Ramsey was corner D.J. Hayden. D.J. Hayden's going to be the nickel corner. He should get significant playing time next year. And he played good when he was in there. Like, he's always solid. I just had a uh, 
podcast with Jason from another Jags podcast on uh, their channel. So if you want to check that out, link will be in the description down below. But we talked about DJ Hayden and his PFF grades are always very consistent. They're always in the high 70s. Like, this is the type of... He's just like Aaron Colvin. Maybe not size-wise, but play style-wise and, like, what they do for the team... They're very similar. Like, they go out there, they lock their guy down, they make sure that the quarterback doesn't have any options so the pass rush can get to him, and then they benefit from, you know, how good Jalen and AJ are as well. And, you know, they don't get a ton of interceptions. Like, Aaron Colvin got his first career interception in that uh, playoff game against the Bills. DJ Hayden, I don't think, got a pick last year. He might have got one, but he doesn't get interceptions often, but he does his job so the pass rush can get there. He locks his guys down, and DJ Hayden is another guy that I think will shock you next year. He was in my uh, five Jaguars that will shock you next season. I think that he's going to have a really solid season at the nickel corner position, and hopefully, you know, we're going to be dropping bold predictions for 2019, but maybe he just has a really, really good season, and maybe he wins comeback player of the year for the Jaguars next year. Who knows? But the two outside guys that are really going to be uh, coming in for Jalen or AJ if there's an injury is Trey Hernan and Quinton Meeks. And th- I can't tell you enough about these guys and how good they play like in the preseason. Like when they go up against guys of their caliber of talent and their caliber of level, they play really well. Like they're good for what they are. They're also very good on special teams. Both Trey Hernan and Quinton Meeks are both aces on the special teams unit, whether that be kickoff, punt, you know, getting them inside the one yard line even laying the lick sometimes like these two are really good for what they are but unfortunately when we need to call on them to go into the game and you know play that cornerback position for us in a crucial situation I'm not too sure how they're gonna do you know they're both kind of untested unproven you know they had their opportunities last year Quentin Meeks uh, was one of those guys I believe he got a start in London and I think he, uh, you know, he had a good game. You know, he does what he does, and he is what he is. That's both what Trey Hernan and Quentin Meeks are. They both are what they are. They're tremendous special teams players, and you will see them play well in the preseason because, you know, they're going up against guys that are more of their skill level, but they they won't shine really in a situation where they have to be that it players. They have to be a factor. But, you know, that's also saying we really don't know. Because, you know, this has been Jalen and AJ's team now for this is going to be going on year number three. So, Trey Hernan and Quentin Meeks, man, they've never really had an opportunity to go out there and show what they can do. But maybe in 2019, they might have an opportunity. Who knows? Hopefully not. Hopefully Jalen and AJ are very healthy and they stay on the field for a majority of the snaps. But these cornerbacks are definitely a position you guys shouldn't be worried about, and it should be a fun one to watch because I think it's one of the better groups that the Jaguars have heading into 2019. And that was the Jaguars positional outlook for the cornerbacks. What you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, hit the link down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram, at Trey Von Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.